Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. First Days of Our Lives Kristen returns thundering, next. Amazing, two considerably additional astounding returns? We're scarcely four days into the new year and as of now, it's appearing as though things will be exceptionally fascinating on Days of Our Lives. What's more, that could be thanks to one of Salem's greatest special cases, Kristen DeMera. Indeed, she's been MIA for a brief period now, yet, as per the 2024 C, see the connection beneath, she's going to return thundering to buy and buy clash with Brady over Rachel. Their gifted girl is, all things considered, as yet living in the DeMera manor someplace and each time we've seen her, she's obviously been flourishing in that specific nook of snakes. Yet, where on earth has she been of late as confusion has ruled among the Demeros? Stefan's trapped in Clyde's grasp, EJ and Nicole have been experiencing a large number of brushes and chads off at the Hortons as his relationship has disintegrated. Indeed, now that we realize we'll be seeing Kristen battling, again, over Rachel, we begin to feel that maybe her little girl is the way to what Kristen's been doing. Since imagine a scenario in which she's been off doing what she specializes in, coordinating the destructions of her adversaries? Recall what occurred back in October? Stefan and Gabby didn't simply play grimy with Kristen over Rachel, they were tremendously horrendous. By threatening to tell everyone that she was abusing Rachel, they used blackmail to get her to give up her shares of Demera. What's more, fooling the unfortunate youngster into making a video to back it up. That sort of remorselessness isn't something Kristen would softly excuse. It could try and provoke her to make radical moves to seek retribution, like collaborate with Lee to approach Gabby for homicide and boot her out. Remington Hoffman hinted a while back that we might not have believed Lee to be dead. And they both have good reasons to want to make Stefan, and Gabby in particular, pay. The issue is that Lee appeared to pass away quite definitively in the hospital. Yet, that is just an issue in the event that you don't have somebody with Dr. Rolf's virtuoso close by to invert that little hiccup. Kristen's vanishing from our screens could be on the grounds that she's been off carrying Lee back in further plotting to ensure Gabby never at any point comes around as a liberated individual once more. All things considered, Gabby and Stefan played their pranks on Lee and Kristen all the while and we haven't exactly seen her from that point forward, or since Lee's alleged passing. In addition, it wouldn't be whenever the two first cooperated with Dr. Rolf. And keeping in mind that Rolf may not oblige an arrangement to hurt Stefan himself, seeing as he went to all that difficulty to save Stefan's child, he most likely wouldn't hold back at an arrangement to eliminate Gabby from the chessboard. Obviously, we as a whole realize that in Salem designs never go as, all things considered, arranged. So in the event that we get Kristen and Lee back soon, it's a sure thing Gabby can't be excessively far behind. Be that as it may, exactly how far is their plot going? Might they at any point likewise be behind Clyde exerting some serious pressure on Stefan? The truth will surface at some point, however we wouldn't rule any of this out for Kristen. She's hazardous enough all alone, yet undermine her relationship with Rachel and who knows how far she could go. Brady's medication and liquor backslide awful bend as father battles to adapt. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Brady Black has experienced difficulties in recent months, beginning with Kristen DeMera's acquisition of full custody and the restriction on his access to Rachel Black. After that, Brady had to deal with the drama at Tate Black's boarding school as well as all of the difficulties that co-parenting with Teresa Donovan brought. Presently Tate's up to speed in this Holly Jonas Glut emergency, which Brady fell flat to assume the fault for. When Tate lands at Statesville and gets thumped basically right away, that will add to Brady's rundown of hardships. It's not difficult to perceive how Days is gradually pushing Brady toward his limit. During the seven-day stretch of January 8th to 12th, things will go from awful to more terrible for Brady. The troublesome guardianship circumstance with Kristen will by and by turn into a significant issue. Brady and Rachel were supposed to go on a date night as a father and daughter on New Year's Eve, but Kristen took her out of town by accident. That constrained Brady to pass up significant holding time, however his next endeavor to reconnect with Rachel will be a failure too. Day's spoilers say Brady should drop on his girl so he can uphold Tate, so Rachel might feel like he's playing top picks. Kristen will unquestionably go insane at Brady and power Marlena Evans, Deidre Lobby, to ref their battle. 
Sadly, it seems like Rachel will have a complete implosion over Brady abandoning their new plans. Brady will call Kristen out for turning Rachel against him, however Kristen might contend that Brady's at fault for missing his plan time with Rachel. Quit worrying about the way that Kristen was the person who dropped last time around. Day's spoilers say it'll be all Brady's issue according to Kristen's viewpoint. Brady might encourage Kristen to clarify things for Rachel and assist her with understanding, yet Kristen will presumably remove all contact among Brady and Rachel all things considered. Regardless, DOL spoilers say Brady will arrive at a new low once Rachel detests his guts and harm Tate is experiencing in the slammer. Although Brady places a high value on his role as a father, he will experience feelings of failure in numerous ways. Since we realize somebody is set to backslide during the seven-day stretch of January 15th to 19th, it appears to be probable it'll be Brady. All Brady's concerns will turn out to be an excessive amount to deal with, so Brady might get back to medications and liquor as he attempts to adapt. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Brady could winding wild, so remain tuned for refreshes on the terrible news that is approaching. CDL will have other hot days of our live spoilers, news and updates to look at, so make us your top DOL source. In a heartbreaking turn of events, the community surrounding Brady, a devoted father who had been battling with drug and alcohol addiction, was shaken by news of his relapse. Despite his previous efforts to overcome these demons, the relentless grip of addiction seemed to tighten its hold on him once again. Friends and family had rallied behind Brady during his journey to sobriety, but the recent relapse cast a shadow of despair over their collective hopes. Brady's struggle with substance abuse had been a roller coaster of highs and lows, marked by moments of triumph and setbacks. His journey resonated with many who admired his resilience and determination to be present for his family. However, the relapse unveiled the cruel reality of addiction, a formidable adversary that doesn't always yield to sheer willpower. As news of Brady's relapse circulated, the community faced a collective heartbreak. The anguish was especially palpable among those who had witnessed the battles he fought to reclaim his life. Friends who had stood by his side during the brighter days now found themselves grappling with a sense of helplessness and frustration. The emotional toll on Brady's family, especially his children, was immeasurable, as they witnessed a beloved father slipping back into the clutches of a destructive force. The tale of Brady's relapse served as a stark reminder of the pervasive and insidious nature of addiction, transcending socioeconomic boundaries and challenging even the strongest of familial bonds. It prompted introspection within the community about the support systems in place for individuals navigating the treacherous path of recovery. In the midst of this heartbreaking twist, some sought to channel their sorrow into renewed efforts to advocate for increased resources and awareness surrounding addiction. Brady's story became a rallying cry for a more compassionate approach to addiction, highlighting the need for comprehensive support networks and destigmatizing the complexities of recovery. As the community grappled with the aftermath of Brady's relapse, the collective hope remained that he could find the strength to rekindle his fight against addiction. In the face of adversity, the tale of Brady's struggle became a catalyst for broader conversations about the challenges inherent in overcoming addiction and the importance of fostering empathy and understanding for those on this arduous journey. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.